Hey everybody. It's been a rough day today. We've been working hard. Haven't we, dear? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, you, you probably didn't want people to see you like this, uh, right? No, I did not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, she's cooking dinner for, uh, for a few of us here. And, uh, of course, my phone starts ringing, but I'll take care of that in a little bit. Got a mattress standing up right here because we've been working on wrapping up the water pump install and everything here and uh, there you can see how we've got it going I'll start right over here right down there of course that's where the water is fed from the bottom of the tank this is our fill hose right here which is going up to the water inlet the freshwater inlet and right next to it you can see where the city water connection is uh, but anyway I wanted to be able to have a drain so the way I set up the, the drain is uh, I put a T in the line right there and put a ball valve there and it's going right down through the floor so when we get ready to drain it we'll be able to drain the tank real easily right there and and there you can see the pump and you can see where we got the inline filter and then of course it goes on up to the accumulator right here and from the accumulator it goes up over here to a check valve now I know that the uh, pumps themselves come with a check valve but I uh, I'm a little concerned because there's really not much to the check valve that's built into the pump down there uh, so I always put an inline check valve uh, just to be on the safe side and you'll notice that the arrows pointing that way for this one if you look closely over here where the uh, city water comes in you'll see there's a check valve uh, down there as well and that check valve of course uh, is is set up to flow with the city water and that way uh, one will be pushing against the other so anyway that's the way that uh, that works and I just prefer to have extra check valves in line uh, those are uh, shark bite check valves they're right now I think they're around sixteen dollars a piece but uh, Anyway, it just saves the wear and tear on the check valves that uh, tend to fail over a period of time uh, with the water pump itself. Now, I know some of you are seeing how this is going here where the fresh water hose is close to this outlet here. I don't like it either. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to end up that way when I started putting all this together because, of course, I did all the wiring first and we've been in the trailer now for several months and we just now started hooking up the fresh water tank. So eventually what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a uniseal connector and I'm going to put a new inlet right over here somewhere so I can get this hose away from this. And I might even move this to a different spot. I've got enough room to do that, so I might even look into doing that. Fortunately, because even with the mattress on, I do have an excess hole right here, which eventually I'll have a door right here. But I've got an excess hole right here where I can get in there real easily with a light and double check and make sure I don't have any leaks. And we, uh, we've we been running this for, you know, a couple of days. I was just mainly tidying stuff up today. And we have no leaks anywhere so far. So uh, we're just going to say everything's good for this at, at this point, <laughs> you know. So I know this is kind of a crude video. Usually we try to put them together a little bit better than this but uh, I'm kind of weared out uh, that happens you kind of get weared out you know and, and uh, so anyway this is uh, this is how the water pump is all hooked up and everything and it's working well and oh by the way I even put a switch right here on this side of the bed so I can manually turn the uh, water pump off uh, just so it wouldn't accidentally come on when we don't want it to come on that's just all there is to it so i guess it's time we start picking everything up yes or time i start picking everything up well, right we got uh, company coming for dinner yeah we do so <laughs> got to get everything all picked up got to get the saws put away and the reason why the saws are out is because i was building a block for the tank right here i guess i better throw that in right quick but I built a little block down there to put up against the tank so uh, so it'll keep it from sliding of course on the other end we've got it blocked off already on the other end where you can't see it 
we had that from day one and uh, you can also see how on the sides we use some foam board insulation to cushion it on the sides but we've also got it set up where if need be we could actually take these tanks loose and lift them both straight up out of here uh, if for any reason we needed to take them out and service them so anyway that's it for that I don't know what else to say you know do you know of anything else to say <laughs> I just know that I'm ready to get some rest to this evening maybe sip a little wine uh, sipping a little wine sounds good <laughs> to me. That's possible. That's possible. Do we have some? A little bit. Well, that's all we need is just a little bit. Anyway, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. We are working kind of hard today. We are weared out, but we'll always say this. We're not camping. We're living. All right. See you all soon. Bye-bye.